the release of Americans Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner, who've been wrongfully detained and must be allowed to come home. We put a substantial proposal on the table weeks ago to facilitate their release. Our governments have communicated repeatedly and directly on that. Well, Matthew Breiser joins us now from Istanbul. He's a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs. Welcome to the news hour, Matthew. So tell us, how could such a potential prisoner swap work here between the US and Russia? Yeah, thanks for having me with you, Maria. Well, you know, th these have happened in the past, not too long ago, a few months ago. There was a swap for a, a US Embassy Moscow Marine Guard Trevor Reed in exchange for another convicted criminal. <laughs> Another po a pilot who was uh, trafficking in illicit substances. So, um, yeah, it's it's we just need to get an agreement from Moscow now to to uh, allow for this trade to happen, which means that Brittany Griner and uh, Paul Whelan would be flown to some uh, some neutral or third party airport. And it's the same. Whoever would be given up by the United States, whether it's Victor Booth or somebody else. Uh, would also be flown to that same airport mm -hmm. uh, and there would be sort of a tense moment of uh, officials looking each other in the eye with the to be exchanged prisoners standing there on the tarmac. And then the, there's the hope then that uh, both sides will simply go through with it. And and, and I, I think they will. It's, it's pretty much just a logistical exercise once the political agreement is in place. And would you say this is a fair exchange? An American uh, basketball star, also a former U.S. Marine head of security for a car parts firm, um, potentially being exchanged for a Russian arms dealer known as the Merchant of Death. Very scary uh, nickname there. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's, it's really um, a shame and shameful that it's come to this. Uh, and what this shows is that the political pressure on the Biden administration is so high that it's willing to do something that no previous administration had been willing to do. I mean, for years, the Russian government has asked for Boots' release. Uh, he's, you know, he's doing, I think, a 23 year sentence and he's uh, 12 years or so into it. Mm -hmm. uh, but the U.S. has refused because not just because he was selling weapons to uh, African warlords uh, or Muammar Gaddafi in the old days, but because he ended up selling weapons to both sides of the civil war in Afghanistan. And once the Taliban took over, uh, he, he accelerated those shipments. And some of those weapons fell into the hands of Al Qaeda and Osama bin Laden. So after September 11th, uh, Victor Booth became um, a very politicized and highly wanted uh, person, seen to be complicit in Al Qaeda's attacks against the United States. And so to give him up, it's, it's really quite a, a step by the Biden administration, which reflects how terrible Russian-U.S. relations are right now because of Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Interesting points you raise there. And we heard in the package before um, you came on that the U.S. doesn't like to do uh, prisoner swaps. Why is that? Yeah, because it's just, you know, the one reason is that by doing a prisoner swap, uh, it, we're sending a signal that one way Russia can get people it wants out of prison, even convicted criminals, uh, is simply to take Americans hostage. And if you look at the, the, the charges against, well, against Brittany Griner, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. You know, 0 0.7 grams of what she claims was uh, 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 cannabis, oil that was prescribed by her doctor for, for pain relief due to sports injuries for this convicted absolute felon and supporter of terrorists. Uh, the U.S. doesn't ever want to get involved in exchanges like that, but certainly doesn't want to provide uh, precedence for Russians to keep on seizing Americans un unfairly as bargaining chips. Matthew Bryza, fantastic to uh, get you on this story. Really a pleasure to hear from you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maria.